and the British uh, banks are concerned that uh, economic development might take hold in Afghanistan. Uh, there might be some railroads built that would uh, uh, go from India to Europe. There might be some oil pipelines and gas pipelines built that would have the tendency to give all of the countries in the region a common economic interest so that they would henceforth tend to work together. If we had, in addition, Pakistan in a, uh, a peaceful situation, we could have a, an oil pipeline from Iran through Pakistan into China. We could have oil coming from Iraq and Iran across Pakistan into Empresses who fought for the African people and the liberation of African people. Years after, we have to have a program on the radio to make it sound like them people that never exist. And we have to regurgitate and keep saying it over and over. What a terrible thing. Oh, the message sounds so new, and the message is old. I don't know new message, I don't know new something we are talking about. I want to hold on something we are talking about, so oh, it sounds so new. Oh, you have you to come in at this time here. Yeah? Do ever know nothing about Africa other than HIV and malaria and war and tribal war and all these things. And we repeat the, the mechanics in a Jamaica. And we see the politician them who was once young people who recognize the need and the necessity to understand the heritage, become the oppressor of the people and perpetuate what we call a neo-colonialistic mentality, meaning a new colonial attitude that is disguised in a skin that we say, say, the skin is black. So once again, we fight each other because when we look at the oppressor now, if you have no white skin, you have a black skin with a white mentality, a colonial mentality that drive him. And this black man or black woman refuse the heritage that they themselves know, but they refuse it. Because if the people knew what they know, that roast breadfruit vibration would be under the sea or under the foot. Because if the oppressor don't have the mind of the oppressed, it might be just concede but him still have a mind and that is him greatest weapon <laughs>